probably already know this story, but I would like to share with you the meaning and how we can use it in our daily lives. The reference is Luke 17, verse 11 to 19. The beginning starts as Jesus is walking into a village next to Samaria and Galilee. As he approaches, he sees ten men with leprosy. The men stand a distance but call out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Obviously, these men know Jesus and that he can heal them. As Jesus sees them, he says, go show yourselves to the priests. As they are going to the priests, they look down at their skins and see that all their sores are healed. They are so happy that they run down the streets, singing and dancing. Suddenly, one of the men stop and turn back, praising God in a loud voice. He throws himself at Jesus' feet and says, thank you. And he was a Samaritan. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said to him, didn't I heal ten men with leprosy? Where are the other nine? Has only one out of the ten remembered to say thanks to the Lord? Then he said to him, Stand up and go, for your faith has made you well. In this story and in many other stories, Jesus is always saying, Your faith has made you well. This shows us that we have to have a confident faith in Jesus. The spiritual meaning of this story is that God heals believers and unbelievers, just like he provides water and food. In theology, this is called common grace. That is, God gives grace to all, but saving grace is only granted to the elect, or those who believe in Jesus Christ. Proof of this is shown in Acts 14, verse 16 16 and 17. The Samaritan is an example of someone who recognized that God had healed him. Nine of the lepers rejected the truth. Only one of the lepers accepted the truth and responded to it. He responded by thanking and praising God. God, he was not only healed, but saved from internal punishment and gained internal life. God receives the praise for both his physical and spiritual healing. Only God should receive the praise for healing. The Samaritan was healed by the faith in Jesus. God not only restored his leopard body, but restored him to, back to his family and community. No matter the size of the gift or quantity of a gift, big or small, we should always thank God. And we should always give thanks to God. This story encourages us to, give, to be thankful to God, so you have to continuously thank him. Praise God for this fabulous reminder that God alone heals, and be thankful to God. Thank you for listening to my story, and may God bless you all.